एक्वायर्ड इम्यूनिटी एक्वायर्ड इम्यूनिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन द एंटीबॉडी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द बॉडी ऑफ एट्रैक्टेड पर्सन अगेंस्ट एटैकिंग बैक्टीरिया this type of immunity is useful against some specific special bacteria and it is produced in the body of the diseased person in the in his lifetime this is the different with natural immunity acquired immunity is classified into acquired active immunity and acquired passive immunity now acquired active immunity some microorganisms due to their pathogenic characteristic produce diseases one time only that is say some diseases like diphtheria caused by corinibacterium diphtheria typhoid paratyphoid whooping cough smallpox chickenpox yellow fever mumps and poliomyelitis etc disease does not repeat again and again in a person many diseases can be immune immune by vaccination in nowadays acquired passive immunity newborn baby gets this type of immunity from its mother and it is very temporary and in this system baby can get as it the antibody only igm and iga antibody can not be get in this system influential causes of immunity some factors are very influential in immunity like age sex nutrition heat means temperature humidity hormone some diseases like rubella and x-ray etc one age immunity in childhood is not enough and in these days children are easy poor of many disorders Excessive illness produces abnormality of tissues of children. Degener- degeneration of tissues and insufficient blood circulation in old age diminishes. immunity so typhoid and some other diseases are fatal for old person number 2 sex some ailments become serious in female than male person like Whooping cough, infectious hepatitis, etc. Number three, hormone 
insufficient secretion of some hormone is helpful for infection in the body of various infectious diseases number 4 temperature and humidity pneumonia and meningitis frequently attacks in the cold season and tetanus in the rainy season number 5 malnutrition lack of protein and vitamin in the body diminishes preventive power of disease number 6 x-ray it destroys bone marrow in low dose and nervous system and intestinal tissues in a high dose tend to tolerate the disease or bolam the literal meaning of the word bolam is strength charak has used the word vyadhi and vyadhi khamatta in this reference vyadhi means disease and khamatta means strength to tolerate those who are capable of tolerating disease even after ingestion of disease causing factors and do not get elicited by disease are called vyadish kama resistant to disease and on the other hand who are not able to tolerate disease factor and get immediately affected by disease are called vyadhyakshama susceptible to disease so according to ayurveda especially kara the charam balam or vyadhi khamatta means good immunity against disease according to him balam or strength is of three types sahajam kalajam and juktikritam number 1 sahaja or panjinita this type of immunity comes from inheritance from mother mother grandmother and so on and father grandfather and so on so it is up to that matrija means maternal and pitrija means paternal it is seen eventually that many children are not susceptible to same type of ailment or allergy for which their parents used to be and on the other hand they are not so immune as their parents here is 
here it shows the relationship between them and their older generations ayurveda has described a principle of genes and chromosomes under the heading of bija and bija bhaga abhayava bija means seed and bija bhaga means part of the seed and bija bhaga abhayava means a very tiny part of the part of the seed it affects the hereditary system by the anga pratyanga and ono paramanu level anga means gross organs like hands legs ran head chest etc and pratyanga means small organs like heart brain kidney liver spleen stomach or arteries veins nerves etc and ono is molecular hair paramanu is a steel sub subtrailer part of that ono and under tractable by non technology the bija bhaga or each part affects these organs if they are affected in a healthy manner the same health is seen in the children if they are affected in an unhealthy manner the same diseases are will be carried over into the next generation if whole bija is affected at any level of anga etc there will be strong inheritance of the same trait if bija bhaga is affected there will be medium inheritance and bija bhaga avayava is affected there will be weak inheritance number 2 kalajam kala means tribe immunity develop according to season and timing of the life is called kalajam it is observed the strength is better in winter than the summer through extreme cold of course is not good for health tropical country carry more disease than non tropical country childhood and old age are more susceptible to disease youth is more resistant to disease seasonal allergy according to prakriti or psychosomatic 
constitution of an seen in the practice like Papa Prakriti people have allergic tendency in cold and damp climates and good resistance in hot climates. Papa Prakriti people have an allergy in dry, cold and windy climates. and good resistance in anaquas and hot climate pitta prakriti people have an allergy in hot climate and good resistance in cold and damp climate number 3 dukti kritam means acquire strength up immunity the term yukti means planning yukti hi yagana jabba basha means to take the help of other things and plan to depend agonized disease it is said that failing to a proper plan is planning to fail so everything should be done with planning property and in proper time we have already discussed about the planning of modern allopathy measures for acquired immunity now we shall discuss about ayurvedic planning for the purpose ayurveda recommends three plans for upgrading balam or immunity implementation of rasayana regular practice of vyayama physical exercise and satma prayoga maintaining of wholesomeness now let us discuss these three factors a implementation of rasayana rasayan is a health promoting therapy it produces resistance power against disease in two ways firstly by acting the physical level making physiology compact like the core of a mountain and then deactivate microorganism and drug into the body secondly it acts on the mind and makes it more strong in this condition of mind a severe disease appears like a minor disease it is possible for proper secretion of hormones rasayan therapy is implemented by three different ways one kuti prabeshi it is implemented by indoor hospital system for three months or more if required 
नंबर च बातात पी को इट इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय होम प्रोग्राम इन एनी टाइप ऑफ एनवायरमेंट नंबर थ्री आचार रखन इट इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय फॉलोइंग साम कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट एंड दैट इट इज कॉल्ड बिहेवियरल रसायन इट प्रमोट्स मेंटल फैकल्टीज व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मेकिंग ए गुड सोशल एनवायरनमेंट व्यायाम द टर्म व्यायाम मींस फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज अकॉर्डिंग टू चरा रेगुलर फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज बेस ऑफ द बॉडी मोर स्टेबल एंड कंपैक्ट रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज अप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ एक्जन कैपेसिटी शुड बी फॉलोड एवरी डे it increases the strength of muscle and ojo essential of all the tools or tissues which is very important for increasing immunity satma or putta prayog the term सत्म और पुच्छ मीन्स होलसम और बेनिफिशियर दी अपोजिट टर्म ऑफ दी अपोजिट टर्म इज असत्म और अहित मीन्स हारम्पो दो फॉर मेन्टेनिंग दी हेल्थ and improvement of immunity everybody should take satyam foods and avoid asatyam devat very carefully sushruta has classified the substances into three categories satma or pacha or not likely to be substances which are good immediately after intake but they may be produces a good effect in the long term the things which are very good at the time of intake but produce bad effect in the long term are not called satma or pacha the things which are really good or beneficial in the end result are only called satma or pacha ekanta hitani this group of drugs and behavior are always beneficial to everybody at any place and in any condition these drugs do not produce any harm to anyone milk ghee water raj mug dal meat of deer and pigeon pomegranate amalaki etc or examples of this group celibacy sleeping and night celibacy sleeping at night in the wind protected room 
and moderate physical exercise are also included in the akanta hitani behavioral code this should be considered as general rules akanta ahitani these substances or conduct are always harmful to health all kinds of poisons which produce burning putrefaction in tissues and death or diseases which are predominant in fire alcohol is and toxin are considered as as harmful in general besides these in taking of viruddha dravya antagonistic drugs and food like wrong combination of milk and sour fruit milk and salt milk and oily things milk and meat honey and radish honey and ghee in equal portion honey heated beyond 180 degree temperature milk and wine pious rice cooked in the milk and sugar kishara or chichuri rice and mug dal cooked together in the same meal banana in milk preparation etc are included in this group according to ayurveda heat hitani this group of drugs and foods are beneficial for one to another doses in particular time and condition this type of substances should be used according to prakriti season body pattern disease condition living place and food habits the factors which produce heat, heat immunity in the body the following factors are described in ayurveda as immunity producing number 1 balavat purusha desha janma birth in strong men's place and strong men's time to sukha kala yoga kampa comfortability of the time three bija sampa strong and healthy genes of the parents for khatra sampada healthy condition of uterine at time of conception number 5 jori da ahar in taking up complete food in the time of pregnancy of the mother number 6 sharira sampata healthy 
construction of body organ number 6 number 7 uttama shakta strong and sound mind number 8 shabhava samsiddhi nature and personality nine jobaram yes bole can karma doiva good deed eleven samprahasya blissfulness of being mind and senses immunity in the form of body element immunity of body develops by dhatu sara karma from rasa to shukra it becomes stronger by next dhatu means to then earlier dhatu vyavyak samatta a nirvada Susceptibility is called Bhyadi Akshamatta in Ayurveda. Sarak has described following eight types of people which are always ill or susceptible to illness. Number one, Oti Dilga. Very tall people, Oti Rasha. Very short people, Oti Loma. Excessive hairy on body. Number four, Aroma. No hair on body. Number five, Oti Krishna. Very black. Number six, Oti Gora. Very white. Number seven, Oti Sula, very obese. Number eight, Oti Krishna, very thin. Thank you.